All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm um, I'm here again with uh, another tutorial, and what you are seeing is what we're gonna do today. And this is um, based on my latest video that I uploaded before I went on holiday. And um, yeah, that is based on the audio spectrum once again of the, the song, the frequency spectrum. And um, that is converted to tops. And it's rather simple, but you can do yeah, a lot of really cool stuff with it. And I'm gonna show you how in a second and just rebuild this whole network with you. Alright, so we're gonna just dive right in and I delete this whole thing. And the first wing, uh, first wing, <laughs> first thing we do is a, uh, is drop a, uh, an audio file in. Because that's basically what this is all based on. Also, my project container, as always, 1920 by 1080, and the background top is set to BG. Okay, so we have an audio file in here, and I'm actually gonna just attach this to null. Let's scoop that over there a bit. Uh, all right, so um, I'm gonna drop an envelope here and a math in here and then attach this envelope to the math All right now in the math I'm gonna set combined chops to divide um, and set the envelope width to the highest so 10 and um, this is just gonna make for a normalized input okay so now we, we attach a device out here um, which I'm going to actually bypass you don't have the song going in the background the whole time and um, now here we're going to do a couple of things in the chops before we then move to the tops and that is first to just rename this this is not necessary I just like to do that so I'm just going to call this RNG so this is the left and right channel of the song and we're going to use both to drive the uh, the visuals. Okay, so next step is again not absolutely necessary and I didn't do it on the last videos and I actually don't know too much about this EQ <laughs> to be honest. But I noticed when you can you can just uh, boost the uh, the frequencies like the higher frequencies a bit it just looks a bit better so you can boost them by like 10 decibels and um change the frequency here to like 8000 or something you, you just need to like experiment around a bit but um i feel like it makes for a bit nicer end result so i'm gonna change like yeah i'm dropping a uh, an audio spectrum here and change the fft size to 16 something and if i just bypass this you can maybe see that the higher frequencies are represented less a bit it's not that huge of a difference here, but I feel like it does make a difference in the visuals at the end. So the next thing is uh, dropping a resample in here. And change the time slice to off and the method to new rate new interval. And um, change the unit values to absolute. Change these both to samples. And then change the end to like 5000. All right, so we just have 5,000 samples because um, if we don't do this, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, and um, yeah, that that's it for the for the chops already. And now we're going to get to the little uh, trick how to convert this to tops. So I'm going to just uh, attach a chop to here. And now you can see here um, the whole thing is being uh, represented as a top already. Um, and yeah, it's only one pixel high though, and it's also uh, in black and white. So I'm going to change the data format to RNG. So we have both channels, like the r left and the right channels, represented in there. 
And on the common page, I'm gonna change the pixel format to 32-bit float RGBA. And um, then attach this to a composite. Because we um, wanna change the size of it. You could do that, like I tried doing that with a resolution top. But uh, yeah, that, that cranked down the FPS very much. So this is kind of a trick I found out, which looks, yeah, which makes for really nice results. So now I'm gonna um, put a noise here, and here in the noise, this uh, this operator here, whatever you put in there, I'm gonna get to that in a second. Um, this is gonna drive the resolution, or this is gonna be responsible for the output resolution. So I'm gonna put that to 1920 by 1080, just as my parent container. Uh, attach this to a level, so I'm just a bit of in control of it, and then attach this to the comp. And now you can already see this kind of working, and most importantly, these one pixel high input values here become the right resolution, and it's like still in 60 FPS. Okay, so now in the noise, I'm gonna change a few things. First thing being the period. I'm going to set that to around 7 and then actually translate this in time as I often do. So apps time dot seconds times like 0 0.2 and now this is just yeah moving in time. And I'm also gonna, you don't have to do this, you can put uh, turn off the monochrome and also turn off the aspect correct it actually makes for a bit more interesting effect in my opinion. All right, so far so good. I'm also going to attach this to a null, which I call bg, and just put this away at the end here and turn the display on so you can see what's going on there. And also I'm going to put a transform in here to change the alpha in the background. Like it's going to be changed by lookup anyways, but still. This uh, is actually a user on YouTube told me this trick. It's pretty cool. So you, you just turn on the alpha, like you put up the alpha to like one and say comp over background color and that just makes that just now the alpha is vanishing basically. Now it's black the background. Okay. I'm also gonna drop a level in here because uh, I definitely want the brightness to be a bit higher. Okay. Now I'm going to actually put a monochrome here. Uh, I'm gonna come back here later, but first I'm gonna put in the monochrome. So now we're basically more in control of the colors. Y again, you don't have to do this. You can just, um, oh, actually before I do that, on the comp, very importantly, you need to change the operation to either divide or dodge. They both work very well. And um, now here I'm gonna insert a lookup. And in this lookup I'm going to insert a ramp. And uh, here this ramp now controls the colors. So the black color, like I don't want that to actually be black, I want that to be a slight brownish color. Slight. <laughs> um, and this one can actually also be black. And then we drop another one here that is uh, red, one that is blue. Now, like, obviously, you can take your colors. That's just the ones I really like. And one that is kind of orange, yellow, yellowish there. All right. So now I'm just going to uh, quickly turn on the audio so you can see that this is actually reacting to the audio and also I'm gonna take another song okay good so now we're gonna come to the fun part <laughs> which is um, displacing this by itself which is a trick I often use generally in my tutorials as well so you already know this probably but I'm also yeah I'm gonna start with adding two blurs and then a displace and then drop the 
yeah, there one in here and the other one in the top. Okay, now this doesn't look good at all, so <laughs> I'm gonna change the source to red as well. Like, don't have to do this again, I actually think it looks a bit better. And then on the source midpoint, change, the, change this to like 0 0.05 and this plays way to like 0.1 and 0.1. So this is already looking a bit better. And now on the blur, I put this higher as well to like three and something higher. And here in the blur, just yeah, drag that up a bit as well. So yeah, that is looking really cool now. And um, yeah, it's still running pretty smoothly. Like you could also, I think this makes a difference. If you put this to like a thousand. Yeah, just, just try around, really, experiment around, that's how I get to my results as well. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Now, on the noise, you're, you can do a lot of stuff. Just change the period to, and, yeah, do whatever. And there's also something you can do, and that is dropping a constant instead of the noise. So, since again, like this is going to be responsible for the size, so on the resolution, change that to your, to your size. And then drop that in here, and now you see it's really just this being stretched into the high resolution. Another thing you can do is to uh, drop a, it's dropping a movie file in here, and then put that in there, and then you see there's this beautiful banana that is... That actually, on this one, I take a dodge here. And now you can kind of see the, the banana being in there. You can also make this like brighter contrast. Doesn't actually change that much. Oh, that wasn't the contrast, that's why. But yeah, you can do really cool stuff. You can you can take any kind of uh, images, also the the webcam of yours or another camera, and take that as an input to displace it. But I really like the noisy effect. So um, change this back. And another thing, if you actually don't want this to be audio reactive, if you just want to create some kind of cool art without music. You don't have to use the audio spectrum, obviously, so you can also just take a... Hmm, computer losing its... Yeah. Um, you, you can just take a... You can just take a noise or a pattern. I can just show you with a noise quickly. Just uh, on the channel page, change this to R and G. So you have two channels. And then just drop them in Tendron Now. And now you can see, like, if, if, actually, if I turn this off, if I change the period here now, then this also makes for interesting effects. Or if I change this in time, then I'll turn this off. This as well. Okay, so um, this is uh, this is also a pretty cool effect. Or you could use a whoops could use a pattern and then drop that in here changing the channel to RNG and changing like the number of cycles to be 10 and then change this to ramp uh, and you can change this to like 0.2 change the rates just mess around with it <laughs> but it, yeah you can definitely uh, one sec Whoops. Yeah, do cool stuff. <laughs> That's my homework for you. Do cool stuff. But um, yeah, uh, I think that's it. That's the stuff you can play around with. As I said in the composite here, you can change the operation to different stuff. You can change the colors. Uh, you can play around with the blurs here, uh, add some post effects in there or um, yeah, play around with the pattern noises with different songs and everything and let me know if you need any help or if you have any recommendations and everything and I'll be more active now again and um, 
I'll also stop talking now. So thank you very much for uh, listening and watching and creating cool stuff. And see you on the next one.